Tests measure the time it takes for the sound of the explosion to travel one mile, the distance between these two forts. The flash is coming now. One, two, three, four. The sound took just under five seconds to travel the mile. That is, at sea level, the speed of sound is about 760 miles per hour. The exact speed depends effectively on only one factor, the temperature of the air. The higher the temperature, the faster the sound travels. On a really hot day, it may reach over 800 miles per hour at sea level. But temperature falls with altitude until the stratosphere is reached at about 36,000 feet. Above this height, the temperature remains constant at approximately 60 degrees centigrade below zero. So the speed of sound is lower, only 660 miles per hour. What has the speed of sound to do with high-speed flying? To find out, let's consider first a single point, sending out small pressure waves continuously. Each wave travels outwards at the speed of sound. Now suppose the point itself is moving. If its speed is less than the speed of sound, the pressure waves still travel out ahead. But if the point is traveling at the speed of sound, the pressure waves cannot travel out ahead of it, for the point is traveling as fast as they are. If the point travels faster than sound, that is, at supersonic speed, this happens. But we're not going to deal with this case here. This is the kind of way in which the speed of sound affects high-speed aircraft. And therefore, at high speeds, the exact relation between the speed of an aircraft and the speed of sound is important. But remember, the speed of sound varies with temperature and therefore with altitude. It's considerably lower in the stratosphere than at sea level. The ratio of an aircraft's true airspeed to the speed of sound where it is flying is called the aircraft's Mach number, after the 19th century Austrian physicist Ernst Mach. It is usually shortened to M. At high speeds, it is essential for the pilot to know the Mach number, and Mach meters are fitted to all high-speed aircraft. This is how an aircraft's Mach number is calculated. The aircraft has flown six-tenths of a mile in the time that a sound wave has traveled ten-tenths of a mile. It has flown at six-tenths of the speed of sound in the same atmospheric conditions. So its Mach number is 0.6. This aircraft is flying at Mach 0.9. Aircraft flying at the same true airspeed but at different heights will have different Mach numbers, for the speed of sound is different in the two cases.